love to hear your point of view on it. It's in around design and then the use of technology in the cars and just how you think about design becoming even more important or not. If you look at the companies that are really successful today, they are uh, heavily design focused in, a, in an era of Uh, levelness in almost everything else with the measured quality, f uh, fuel consumption, safety, which is all mandated anyway, um, cost, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The one thing that sticks out as the single artistic thing that can give you a, a, a huge competitive advantage, it's design. There's always a trade-off between the design side in the engineer, yeah. what were the key lessons learned in a sense in that give and take? Well, my key lesson learned, and I pass on to anybody who is in any position of responsibility in the automobile business, is if you look at the automobile as a collection of rational traits, like fuel economy, shoulder room, elbow room, hip room, rear edge point to dash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, trunk volume. And you get all that down on paper and the, the car is totally defined dimensionally. And then you hand it to the designers and say, put a wrapper on this, please. You're going to get a car that meets every rational stated desire on the part of the, part of the potential customer, but nobody's going to buy it because it is a fundamental t mistake to look at cars and their attributes in a, uh, in a rational way. We're all rational right. people, and and, but looking at cars as fulfilling rational needs and then designing to that is about as smart as designing men's wristwatches for for function only. Right. They're just not going to sell. And it's the same with cars. A tumble home, uh, side sloping in, mm -hmm. or a fast windshield, or roof height. Mm -hmm. And we'd, we'd struggle to get what the designers wanted in, in terms of the uh, not having a, a very stiff, uh, upright looking car. <clears throat> and they'd say, well, but what you're doing is it's going to deteriorate head swing, lateral head swing. And what you're doing here is we're going to go down. We're going to go down another half inch in roof height. It's already critical. And I said, have, have you ever seen people in a showroom with tape measures where the husband and wife are in there with a tape measure? And finally, one of them says, you know, honey, this Chevrolet has this Chevrolet has a half inch less than the Toyota Camry we saw before. Let's go buy it. Uh, I said, that's just not the way people behave. People won't even be in the showroom unless the car fascinates them visually from ads or seen on television or seen in the street or whatever.